The Chinese army is one of the largest, most potent and fast-growing militaries in the world. Now, in a massive defense breakthrough, the Chinese military has reportedly developed new technology that improves the performance of high-energy laser systems. China's military says that it is ready to fight. China has just unveiled its latest weapon in a stunning display of military might. This comes just months after Japan revealed the world's first laser railgun, a device that uses powerful beams of light to destroy its targets. The two Asian giants are locked in a fierce competition for power and influence in the region, and their new weapons could change the balance of forces in the Pacific. But what exactly is this weapon, and how does it work? How does it compare to Japan's laser railgun, and what are the implications for naval warfare. Join us as we discuss how China just revealed the world's most deadly electromagnetic railgun. A team of Chinese naval engineers has announced that they have developed an electromagnetic railgun that can launch a barrage of projectiles at high speed without suffering any damage. They claim the weapon maintained an impressive level of accuracy even when firing continuously. This breakthrough, which was described in a recent paper, is a remarkable achievement for the country and the world, signaling the dawn of an era in naval warfare and possibly changing the dynamics of power on the global stage. An electromagnetic railgun is a type of weapon that uses electric currents and magnetic fields to accelerate a projectile along a pair of metal rails. Unlike conventional guns that use gunpowder or other explosives to propel a projectile, an electromagnetic railgun does not rely on any chemical reaction or combustion. This gives it several advantages, such as higher speed, longer range, lower cost, and less maintenance. However, it also poses several challenges, such as high power consumption heat generation, and rail erosion. According to the South China Morning Post, the railgun developed by the Chinese Navy engineers can hurl projectiles at a velocity of 2 kilometers per second, which is around Mach 6, and has an astounding range of 100 to 200 kilometers, which is comparable to the capabilities of conventional artillery. This means that the railgun can strike targets faster, farther, and harder than any existing weapon. During the test, it was able to fire 120 rounds flawlessly, demonstrating its outstanding durability and operational efficiency, which is something that most advanced American prototypes could not achieve. The American Railgun Project, which started in 2005, has faced several technical and budgetary difficulties and has not yet reached the stage of sea trials. Professor Liu Junyang, the leader of the research team at the National Key Laboratory of Electromagnetic Energy, explained that this achievement marks a radical transformation in the warfare landscape, stating, This breakthrough represents a paradigm shift from chemical to electromagnetic power. Continuous firing capability is the cornerstone of effective electromagnetic rail launch systems, and we have successfully achieved it. He added that the railgun could be used for various purposes, such as anti-ship, anti-aircraft, anti-missile, and land attack missions. He also said that the railgun could be mounted on various platforms such as ships, vehicles, and aircraft. One of the main advantages of railguns is their ability to fire projectiles that can penetrate or destroy enemy ships, especially those that are not well armored or protected. The projectiles are made of solid metal, such as tungsten or steel, and they have no explosive charge or warhead. Instead, they rely on their kinetic energy and velocity to inflict damage on the target. The projectiles can also explode or release shrapnel or fragments upon impact, causing more damage and casualties to the enemy ships and crew. Railguns can also be used as anti-aircraft weapons, as they can fire projectiles that can intercept or shoot down enemy aircraft, such as planes, helicopters, drones, or missiles. The projectiles can track and target the enemy aircraft using radar or infrared sensors, and they can adjust their trajectory and speed to match the movement and speed of the enemy aircraft. The projectiles can also create shock waves or electromagnetic pulses that can disrupt or disable the enemy's aircraft electronics or communication systems, making them lose control or crash. They can also be used as anti-missile guns, as they can fire projectiles that can counter or neutralize enemy missiles, such as ballistic missiles, cruise missiles, or hypersonic missiles. The projectiles can intercept and destroy the enemy missiles before they reach their targets, or they can divert or decoy the enemy missiles' guidance or tracking systems, making them miss their targets or hit false ones. The projectiles can also carry or release countermeasures, such as chaff, flares, or jamming devices that can confuse or mislead the enemy missiles' sensors or 
radars. Finally, railguns can fire projectiles that can strike or bombard enemy targets on land, such as bases, facilities, vehicles, or personnel. The projectiles can reach targets that are hundreds of kilometers away, and they can avoid or overcome the obstacles or the defenses that the enemy may have on land, such as mountains, hills, bunkers, or anti-aircraft guns. The projectiles can also carry or deliver various payloads, such as explosives, incendiaries, chemicals, biological agents, or nuclear materials, to the enemy targets, depending on the desired effect or the objective of the attack. The projectiles can also create craters or holes in the ground that can be used for landing or deploying troops or equipment. While the Chinese Navy engineers have achieved a breakthrough in developing an electromagnetic railgun, the U.S. Navy has given up on its own railgun project after decades of research and investment. According to Interesting Engineering, the U.S. Navy has been pouring money and resources into railgun research since the 1980s, but faced numerous challenges and obstacles in terms of funds, engineering, and technology. The U.S. Navy eventually decided to abandon the railgun project and switch its attention to hypersonic missiles which are another type of advanced weapon that can travel faster than the speed of sound. One of the main problems that the U.S. Navy encountered while developing the railgun was the stress and wear that the weapon suffered from the repeated firing. The high electric currents and magnetic fields that the railgun used to accelerate the projectiles also generated a lot of heat and friction, which damaged the rails and the components of the weapon. The U.S. Navy could not find a way to overcome this issue and ensure the durability and the reliability of the railgun. How did the Chinese Navy engineers manage to solve this problem and create a railgun that could fire continuously without any damage? The secret lies in their innovative measurement and diagnostic system, which is a cutting-edge technology that can monitor and analyze the performance and condition of the railgun in real time. The system is capable of collecting and processing data from over 100,000 sensors, 10 times more than those in a modern aircraft which are installed in various parts of the railgun. The system can detect and correct any potential issues within milliseconds using artificial intelligence and machine learning. This technology has reportedly saved the weapon from critical damage multiple times, demonstrating its vital role in ensuring the railgun's operational longevity. The system also helps to improve the accuracy and efficiency of the railgun by adjusting the perimeters and settings of the weapon according to the environmental and operational conditions. The system is a key factor that distinguishes the Chinese railgun from the American railgun and gives the Chinese Navy engineers an edge over their counterparts. The electromagnetic railgun is not only a game changer for naval warfare, but also a catalyst for other domains of innovation and development. Lu's team has a vision of applying this technology to revolutionize high-speed transportation by proposing the development of a vacuum tube train that can surpass the speed of sound. This would enable faster and safer travel across long distances and reduce the environmental impact of conventional modes of transportation such as cars, planes, and trains. The vacuum tube train would use electromagnetic railgun technology to accelerate and decelerate the train inside a sealed tube where the air pressure is reduced to a minimum. This would eliminate the air resistance and friction that limit the speed and efficiency of conventional transportation. The vacuum tube train could reach speeds of over 1,200 kilometers per hour which is faster than the speed of sound and five times faster than the fastest bullet train. This would mean that a trip from Beijing to Shanghai, which usually takes about five hours by plane, could be done in less than an hour by the vacuum tube train. This would save time, money, and energy, and improve the connectivity and mobility of people and goods. Also, this technology has a huge potential for transforming space travel by enabling significantly cheaper and more efficient rocket launches. This would lower the barriers and cost of accessing and exploring space and open up new possibilities and opportunities for scientific and commercial endeavors. The electromagnetic railgun technology could be used to launch rockets rockets from the ground or from a high-altitude platform, such as a plane or a balloon. The railgun would provide the initial boost and velocity for the rocket, which would then use its own propulsion system to reach the orbit or beyond. This would reduce the amount of fuel and materials needed for the rocket and increase the payload and range of the rocket. The railgun could also launch satellites, probes, and other payloads into space for various purposes, such as communication, 
navigation, observation, and exploration. The railgun could also launch weapons into space for defensive or offensive purposes, such as intercepting or destroying enemy satellites, missiles, or spacecraft. Meanwhile, China is preparing to test one of its DEC electromagnetic catapult-assisted launch systems on its recent Fujian aircraft carrier. This system uses the same principle of electromagnetic propulsion as the railgun, but for launching aircraft from the carrier. This system allows for faster and smoother takeoffs and landings and increases the range and payload of the aircraft. The system also enhances the operational flexibility and efficiency of the carrier and reduces maintenance and fuel costs. With this system, China is poised to solidify its position as a leader in this cutting-edge field and challenge the dominance of the U.S. and its allies in the naval domain. The U.S. Navy has been using steam catapults to launch aircraft from its carriers, but these are noisy, bulky, and prone to breakdowns. The U.S. Navy has also been developing its own electromagnetic catapult system called the Electromagnetic Aircraft Launch System, but it has faced technical and budgetary problems and has not been fully deployed on its carriers. The Chinese Electromagnetic Catapult System, on the other hand, has been developed and tested in a shorter time and with a lower cost and has shown promising results. The system could give China an edge over the U.S. and its allies in terms of naval aviation and power projection and could enable China to deploy more advanced and diverse aircraft on its carriers such as stealth fighters, bombers, drones, and electronic warfare aircraft. The development of the electromagnetic railgun and the electromagnetic catapult-assisted launch system marks a pivotal moment not only for the Chinese military but for the future of warfare and innovation as a whole. These technologies could give China a significant advantage over its rivals and adversaries in the naval and aerospace domains and could also have applications and implications for other fields and sectors such as transportation, communication, energy, and exploration. These technologies could also trigger a new arms race and a new wave of innovation and in competition among the major powers and actors in the world as they seek to catch up with or surpass China in this cutting-edge field. These technologies could also pose new challenges and risks for the international order and the stability of the world as they could increase the potential and the likelihood of conflict and confrontation among the major powers and actors in the world. These technologies could also raise new ethical and legal questions and issues such as the regulation and control of these technologies, the responsibility and accountability of their use and misuse, and the impact and consequences of their use and misuse on the environment and humanity. What do you think about this? Let us know in the comments section.